Okay, so um, here's a quick video, kind of a walk around of how I built my ski tow rope here. Um, starting with the rope, it's three quarter inch rope. It's a, some type of poly blend. Um, it's 600 feet of rope, so doubled up, you know, down and back. It's 300 feet. Um, for the drive system, I used two trailer tires, just bolted together. I used six inch bolts on that, um, just grade two. Um, and then this pulley is a wheelbarrow setup. You can buy the box of the, at, I got it at Menards. It's just like a wheelbarrow hardware kit with the wheel and axle and bearings and stuff. And I just pulled the, the tire off of it. Um, on the drive, it's geared down twice, yeah, one inch shafts with bearing blocks. It's a number 35 chain. Uh, so you can kind of see the drive here goes there and then down to this drive over here and then down to the engine. Um, just a couple of basic tensioners. Um, this one is just a um, nylon bushing. Uh, this chain doesn't spin that fast here. Um, and then this one down here uh, is a, a bearing sprocket. Uh, and then on the on the motor, it's just a straight sprocket. I was going to go with the clutch, but um, I just uh, didn't know how the heat, um, if it was going to get too hot. The motor is a Predator. 212 cc i got a little bit little tack on there you can see i've got about two hours on this thing it's it's done really well the chain tension i had to mess with a little bit it starts good um i did have i'll show you a, a cold start video it starts right up in the cold even with all that rope pulling you have to get the rope loose um for the kill switch it's a very simple ground setup and so basically the the kill switch on the side of the motor you turn it off and it it just grounds it and so what i did is i just used household electrical components so if i wanted to set up the kill switch a little bit farther away i just used an extension cord and what it is is just a simple switch you can kind of see i've got it set to run or kill um, and then when it's in position i got this rope going across here um, so when you hit it, or when you touch the rope, it's pretty sensitive, it just kills it. Um, and then I've got this, the pin in there, so if you do get caught up in the rope, it just pulls loose. It kills it pretty quick, um, it only pulls a couple of feet in. Um, so I've got plenty of space if I wanted to space this out farther. Um, so if you get tangled up, it'll, you'll have more than enough time to kill the motor before you get you really shouldn't get tangled up much in this um so yeah um it works really good it's really basic um i just chained it to a tree um it seems to work really well um no real issues on it we've had up to four people being pulled up the hill and the chain started to skip a little bit so we usually go like two at a time so um yeah if you got any questions just uh just let me know or if you want to come check it out or go sledding or snowboarding or whatever um yeah feel free it's here so here's the splice um it's a pretty easy one you look it up on the internet but yeah you basically just unravel about a foot of each side of the rope and then just twist it together um a little bit of the ends stick out but i just wrapped them with duct tape to kind of keep them from catching catching on stuff it seems to be holding up okay going through this thing um goes through just fine it doesn't bind up or anything like that so works pretty good it's also a nice uh, spot to hang on to like if it's coming around um get your hands on that works really good okay so here's the idler the bottom portion of the tow rope um yeah, really simple. It's just a wooden frame 
with the same wheelbarrow rim setup. I weighted down some sandbags. Um, you can, there's really not a whole lot of tension on it. You don't really need much. Um, I can pull a little bit more if need be, but I've noticed it, it's just fine. There's, I think these sandbags are 60 pounds a piece, six of them, so 360 pounds. Um, yeah, it's real simple. And here I'll watch, here's the, here's the splice coming through and you can kind of see how the splice, yeah, it's nothing. The splice just goes through um, just right around that. So works really good, nice and quiet. Yeah.